Hi everyone and welcome to Some Civilization 6. So, with the expansion coming in early February, I decided to do a proper Civ 6 game as a bit of a refresher. And we are going to play as one of the new recent civilizations, which is Nubia. I actually quite like their bonuses here. They get plus 20% production towards all districts and plus 40% if there's a Nubian pyramid adjacent to the city center, so that will help quite a lot with city development. They also get plus 50% production towards all ranged units, and all ranged units gain plus 50% combat experience. And mines over strategic resources provide plus 1 production. And mines over bonus and luxury resources provide plus 2 gold. So that's quite nice. Then we get a unique Ancient Era Archer unit, which replaces the regular Archer. He's stronger than the Archer and has extra movement. And upgrades to Crossbowmen. And finally we got the unique building, the Nubian Pyramid. It unlocks with masonry and must be built on desert, desert hills or floodplains. Plus one faith receives additional yields from adjacent districts and plus one food if adjacent to a city center. And for all other districts that award adjacency bonuses, it gets plus one to the appropriate yield. Alright, let's get started then, shall we? We are playing on a fractal map, standard game speed, and all the settings are on default, so let's get started. 500 pay. So I am playing with CQ UI mod, but that's the only mod I'm using here. No, I don't want great works, but thanks. Alright, are we going to settle on spot or are we going to move? Let's take a look. I think we'll settle on spot. Well, we could move a little bit north. Just to not have as much Tundra in range. It's not a terrible idea. We could settle our capital on the coast, but then we won't have a river. Still, we will get an instant boost for settling on the coast, and it can be quite useful. You know what, let's try settling on the coast, why not? It will only cost us one turn. So, right here. We'll actually have fish in range like this. Okay. And silver will still be in range. Alright, we're going to settle right here. So that gives us sailing boost right away. And let's have a look. How many turns for the city to grow? Five. What if we work the stone? Seven. I think I'd rather get that extra hammer as soon as possible. And we'll start with a slinger. We need to get the boost for killing a unit with a slinger. As for research... Probably mining. Yep, mining. And let's explore a little bit. We won't be going too far with the warrior, but he can definitely explore our general surroundings. We should probably go north, or at least west, not south, there's not a whole lot over here. We did find spices. Okay, more than one. This is an interesting start. Interesting terrain so far. Okay, that's a small lake over here. And there's our slinger. Let's find some barbarians, shall we? We do have a tribal village. What's next? I'm thinking scout. Yup, scout. We're about to get plus one population. Now we can work the free food tile. Or we can just work the second stone. It will grow in 11 and give us decent production. Yeah, let's go for production. Early production is just so important. Wait, seriously? Australia is our neighbor again? Yeah, alright. 
What are the odds? Seriously? Well, at least we got writing boost. But I don't like having him as my neighbor again. I guess we'll handle it. Now, we got some barbarians, and he already weakened them. How nice of him. We can actually get rid of that camp. Yep. We certainly can. Don't attack it yet, we need to attack it with the slinger. Like that. And down it goes. Nice. Anything else? Nope. Mining research when is pretty much done. In a hole, quit digging. What should we get next? We should get archery as soon as possible. Because we need to unlock our unique unit. Oh, and I didn't get the boss because the boss is to kill a unit with a slinger. Right, that's my bad, I suppose. Although, if we did that, then he would have grabbed the barbarian camp. So, yeah. And we would have missed out on the other boss. I think we actually did the right thing. Maybe if Australian warrior wasn't right next to that camp. It would have been better to kill the unit with a slinger, but yeah. Anyway, we'll still get a chance to kill something with the slinger. Let's move on. Find another camp, maybe. I'm sure there will be something to the south. Heal up first. There's the scout. And next up, a monument. Needs to get started on culture. Right, let's go find some barbarians. At his best, Code of Laws is done. Is the noblest of all animals. We will grab God King he is the to worst. get a pantheon. And probably Discipline. Because I expect more barbarians in the area. That combat boss is always useful. Next up... Craftsmanship. Well, no, probably foreign trade first. It will take us a little bit of time to get that first worker. We could go for a worker instead of monument. I mean, builder. Yeah, actually, let's get a builder before the monument. Mostly because we need him for that boost. Otherwise, it will take too long. No barbarians. I thought Clay must feel happy in the signal. Okay, we it's found a, a natural wonder. Wild tiger trap made up of massive obelisks riddled with jagged spears. What are the yields on that one again? Oh yeah, it provides plus one culture and plus one science to adjacent tiles. We definitely want to settle that. In fact, that should probably be our second city. Before Australia steals it. And they will definitely steal it if we let them. I can tell you as much. As for our next research... We could grab sailing and then get a galley. Not a bad idea. I think we'll actually do that. Sounds good to me. We still need to discover a second continent. Hopefully our scout will be able to do that. Plus 40 gold, nice. Alright, let's keep moving. Almost free population. Oh, then we can work the ship. In fact, we should already be working that. Here, just lock it. So, any barbarians around here? They are hiding, clearly. They're scared. 
Let's not go too far with that builder. I mean, warriors. <laughs> Still nothing. This is a very weird starting location. I'm not quite sure what to think about it just yet. It is a fractal map. Oh, there we go. We found some barbarians, right. We might need that warrior, I'm afraid. Because it's a spearman. Yeah, a slinger will not be enough. In fact, the spearman is now attacking us. Which is not good at all. Oh great, a scout. Well, we can attack him, he will not find our city. We can't let him find our city. Because then barbarians will spawn a city raid. We don't want them to do that. Hey, we can get rid of the camp. Yeah, sure. 35 gold. Thanks, bro. Now, do we attack him or do we back up? Well... We could attack him, but... It's better to back up. We need Australia to weaken that guy a little bit. That's what we need. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to Back me, up again. But life at sea is better. Let's heal for one turn. I don't want to lose that guy. As much as I want the boost. More research. That will be animal husbandry. Definitely need that. With that sheep tile in range. Okay, this is better. Now Australia might kill him. Well, maybe not. We have a chance. I don't think that warrior can finish him off. I'm pretty sure he can't. So, there's the builder. First, we'll get a quarry. That gives us masonry boost. Then we'll save one build for a pasture. Oh, he actually moved towards us. Which is not a good thing. Because I'm not close enough to attack him. Well, alright. Let's move away from him. Like so. He needs to stay in range. Now, can we improve the silver yet? We can, right? Yes, we can. Okay, he attacked us. So this gives us archery boost. Very nice. And it also gives us a promotion. Let's pick up the promotions right away. We definitely need the heal from them. We'll grab ranger, I think. And on the slinger... Plus 5 ranged strength versus land units. Sounds good. And we don't need the warrior anymore. Now, we'll finish the monument and grab a settler. We need that settler out ASAP. Before Australia steals the natural wonder. I'm actually going to chill in this general area to keep an eye on a, any Australian settlers that might be heading in this direction. Okay, one more build. That's going to be a pasture. It will be perfectly timed, basically. <laughs> now we move across the river and we can improve it on the next turn. Heal up. And send the scout north. We still need to discover the second continent, but... I'm not sure if I want to wait for that. I guess we can switch to craftsmanship for now. We're if about to no get a boost for that. Heaven, then when I die, Here it comes. I want to grow. There. Alright, as for our next research... I'm thinking masonry, because that unlocks the Nubian Pyramid. 
and also ancient walls and battering ram if we want to conquer Australia. Actually no, first let's get archery to unlock our unique unit. That will definitely come in handy. So, Settler is queued up. Nine turns. I don't think we can speed it up. Not really, no. Heal up and let's heal the scout. No settlers coming. Where exactly do we want to settle this city anyway? I'm actually thinking right here maybe. This style. Then we'll have the stone to the northwest in range. We'll have another stone to the east. We'll have deer to the east. Or maybe this one. Yeah, that way we'll maximize the wonder a little bit better. Not that the snow tiles will be super useful. But if we settle right here, then everything will still be in range. Yep, I think that's going to be it. This exact tile. And we won't have to buy as many tiles early. It's a shame it's in Tundra terrain. Because it won't be as good as it could have been. But it's still decent. So, I'll take it. We still need to discover another continent. Hopefully we'll find it in this direction. Oh, and you know what? Let's give that settler an escort. Just in case. We never know when a barbarian Still camp is going to spawn. Is oh, hi! Well, Give speaking of barbarians, I think we just found some. Picnic baskets. That might be a bit of an issue. I think we'll grab that archer as soon as we finish research. Oh, we did this. No, we didn't discover the second continent. Let's research military tradition. I don't think we want to change anything. We definitely want discipline, that's for sure. Yeah, not changing anything just yet. This is going to be a little bit nasty. Yeah, I don't like this I at all. Into the air. It fell to we earth. have to back up I knew not where. and pick up the promotion to heal. Battle cry. And yep, back up. Now we can grab an archer. Settler will have to wait. It's not safe anyway. Masonry next, I think. Hold on, let's look at the tree. We could grab writing, but we won't be building a campus just yet, so there's no need. Yeah, let's get to masonry. Also, these barbarians might give us bronze working boost. If we can kill them quickly enough. If we can kill them at all. <laughs> I assume we can. So, yeah, masonry. Come on, give me a continent. We found a city-state. We don't need to find three city-states for a boost. Okay, let's see. This isn't entirely safe. That stupid archer. Still, we should attack. Australia is coming. You know what we could do? We could just straight up buy an archer. I like that idea. Yeah, let's just straight up buy an archer. It will speed things up significantly. Where the heck is another continent? This is all still the same continent. Yep, he backed up. But now we actually got an archer, that will help. We have to back up ourselves, I'm afraid. There we go, we got foreign trade boost. Alright. We still want discipline. 
I'm not changing anything. We need discipline and we still need faith from God King. That's currently our only source of faith. I actually kind of need Australia's help right here. Because, you know, I don't want to lose these guys. Okay, here's one archer. And we found another sieve. Scythia. I'm not too happy about that, but she's not nearly as overpowered as she used to be. Oh, and Alexander. The most punchable face in sieve. Doesn't matter which sieve. Alright, whatever. Well, Scythia is quite far away from us. Don't have to worry about that. We need one more city-state. Hopefully we'll find one. Okay, we still need barbarian kills. Let's get them, shall we? There we go. That's bronze working boost. Perfect. And we can choose our pantheon. What is that going to be? Good question. What can we go for? Plus 25% production towards districts in cities without a specialty district. This would stack with 20% bonus that we already have. It's not terrible. If we want to go aggressive, we could get God of the Forge. To get a lot of unique units. The problem with God of the Forge is that it will be completely useless past classical era. Which I don't like too much, but it can be very nice to give you an initial advantage. We could try to conquer Australia with the help from God of the Forge. Because these archers are actually pretty good. I'm strongly considering that. I think I'll give it a shot. And we already get a production bonus towards ranged units, so I assume this will stack. Alright, let's try God of the Forge. Here, done. I hope I'm not going to regret that. I guess we'll find out. So, one more city-state. And Settler is almost done. We will get a quick granary, but after the second archer. And we should probably get another builder sometime soon. We could wait and buy one. Of military knowledge. Yeah, we but lost that unit, unfortunately. Obedience to rules, well, we got fail. the boss, so that's what matters. There's the settler. He is going to need an escort. So how about we wait? Yeah, we need to wait for something. It's definitely not safe. Next up. Let's get started on early empire. We'll do 50% and then switch to something else, probably. We can change our policies now. We don't need God King anymore. We could get plus 30% production towards builders and get a quick builder. Not a bad idea, let's do that. We will, however, finish the archer. And then builder. All right, sounds good. So, let's do some damage. The warrior can be our escort. That's the idea. We could make the city grow a little bit faster here. But we'll miss out on a lot of production that way. 
It will only slow down the archer by one turn. Yeah, okay, let's make the city grow a bit faster then. We need to get that second city up ASAP. It's really about time. It's mostly these stupid barbarians getting in the way. Here, we got the escort now. So, escort formation. And back up. At least they are also blocking Australia. We are kind of cut off from the main continent by Australia. So I think we really need to conquer them. Otherwise we'll be boxed in. We'll worry about that later. Now we have to go around this stupid mountain, I'm afraid. One more city-state. We got a few turns to find one more city-state. Each of us is carving a stone. Masonry is done. Floor, or cutting a piece of stained glass. Next up. In the construction of something much What's bigger next? than ourselves. Bronze working. Right, we need to know where Aaron is on the map. Definitely. Come on, one more city-state. Give me a city-state. There are still plenty of city-states we haven't found. Nothing. Alright, that's disappointing. Let's upgrade that slinger. Another archer is done. There he is. Still no city-state. I guess we'll just switch from early empire to something else. That was a sound of a barbarian camp spawning. Okay. Now, do we want to go with that original idea? This style? I think so. I think that's the best one to settle. I don't like having that much tundra around, but it's not like we have a big choice if we want to get the wonder. It's still worth it for science and culture. Okay, one more turn of early empire and then we have to switch to something else. If we don't want to waste research. Upgrade. Let's go in this direction. There has to be a city-state somewhere around here. Oh yeah, what's Alexander's agenda anyway? We should at least try to get friendly with some of these people. We need to find an easiest to fulfill agenda. Like civilizations at war with major powers other than Macedon. Has disdain for civilizations at peace. Well, that won't be too hard later on. Let's send a delegation to him. He might be pretty easy to at least be neutral with. I like how we are friendly with Australia and yet we plan a war with them. So, last chance to change our mind about city location. Well, this is also an option, but if we go for this one, some of the tiles affected by the wonder will be out of range. Really bad ones. But I see no real benefit of settling here. Not really. Then again, there's no downside either. Technically there is a benefit, we'll grab a few good tiles to the north. At least a few tiles that don't suck as much as this snow terrain. And it's a hill? No, it's not a hill. Alright, let's settle here then. The game convinced me. Done, we got our second city. And let's switch early empire to something else. 
Minecraft State Workforce. And what do we start with? We could start with a builder, probably a good idea. And we'll work the spices. This will actually be a pretty nice city early on, because we got two tiles with spices. And spices have very nice yields. It's not easy to get free food to hammers tile this early on. Now, we'll probably want another city in this general area. But we'll see about that. We got some pearls to the north. Once we finish the builder, we'll need a district. So, this is probably a good moment to research writing. In fact, I think I'll grab writing first and then finish bronze working. Still need that city state. Once we get our third city, we'll start preparing for war, I think. I would like to have at least three cities before going to war. Because, you know, I don't want to cripple myself too much. Alright, next. It's a pretty decent start so far. If only we could find that city-state, though. <laughs> that would be even better. No? Still nothing. Come on, now. We explored so much, though. Nope, still nothing. I hope I won't have to finish that research the hard way. Now, I guess we should grab the crab and the other stone and the cattle. First, let's get the stone and then the cattle, I guess. 31 turns until the city grows. That's a little bit too much. I don't think we can speed it up too much. It's mostly because of housing. I don't think we should be trying, really, until we get more housing. Let's go for production instead. We can do something like this. Yeah, I think that's the best. Until we get more housing. Plus 8.5 gold. Anyway, writing is almost done. We can do one turn of granary and then we'll switch to that district. We do have a mountain nearby. There should be writing a decent easy. spot for it. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. I think it will have to be over here because we don't really have too much gold. So I don't want to buy too many tiles right now. I don't want to buy any tiles, to be honest. The only one we could buy is this one. I don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, just build it right here. It's only plus one, but there's no better option right now, really. Plus one is best we can do. Yep. The only downside is that we won't be able to build whatever it was called. The Nubian Pyramid. Oh, right, it has to be built on the desert. Never mind then. So, campus right here. That will take nine turns. We'll just switch from state workforce to something else. As for you... Well, we could speed things up by removing a forest. It's not a terrible idea, actually. 
barbarians, but still no city-state. Thirty-eight production. You know what? Yeah, let's remove the forest. All right, we'll remove it. That will speed up the campus. I think we should go west instead. This is probably the end of the continent. I don't think there will be a city-state here. But let's just uncover a few more tiles. Now, we do have enough gold to buy the silver. Probably a good idea, yeah. Alright, let's grab it then. There goes all of our gold. But now we could maybe trade with someone. Is anyone willing to trade? We could get some gold. Let's see who will give us the most gold for it. Hmm. It's probably not going to be a big difference, I don't think so. I think it's Alexander, actually. We could always get his luxury. Oh, but he wants us to pay. No, I'm not interested. I'll take his gold, that's okay. Good enough. So, one more turn of state workforce and we'll switch to something else. Bronze I really hope we'll find that city state fall. sometime soon. Wine yeah, we need to go in the other the direction. Let's switch to mysticism for now. I might have to finish early empire the hard way. We only got six turns to find the city-state. Because then it will be the last option left to research. What's the next research going to be? Probably wheel to unlock the water mill. Yep. Sounds good. Oh, Barbarian. I saw you. Two Barbarians, even. Okay. Let's maybe back up and let them come to us. Let's see if they are going to move towards us in the first place. It was yep, they are moving. Conditioning the Oh, we got early empire. Wait, what? How did that... Oh, right, that's for six population. I was thinking about something else. Yeah, I was thinking about political philosophy to meet three city-states. <laughs> we still got some time to meet the third city-state. Let's get started on political philosophy. Hopefully we'll find one in the next eight turns, because I want a government ASAP. I can't actually target them. Yeah, I would have to move. Let's maybe not do that. Do we want to change policies? How many turns to finish that builder? Four turns. I don't think we'll miss out on a lot of production if we get rid of this. What can we get instead? I'm thinking urban planning for extra production. I don't think we need discipline anymore. Probably not. Alright, let's get a production boost to ancient and classical era units. Next. We'll finish the granary to make our capital grow a little bit faster. Because right now, it's just way too slow. Do some damage and back up. 
A warrior is not exactly an amazing military unit, but I don't want him to die. Right, we should also get one more settler still. In fact, I think we should get that settler before the granary. Before Australia steals a city location. Because they will definitely do that if we let them. Okay, we can finish him off. It's a little bit risky because we might get killed by that archer. But if we don't finish him off, he's probably going to run away. Let's finish him off. There. Now, hopefully the archer will not be able to do 42 damage. I don't think he can do 42 damage. Oh, apparently he can. Well, never mind then. I suppose it's just a warrior, but... I would have preferred to keep him alive. That settler is extremely tempting. We could have grabbed him on this turn, actually. And that's a promotion. Nice. Yeah, thing is, right now our priority is to find a city-state. Don't To get political philosophy faster. Just if I declare war on city right now, to grab the settler, we will almost certainly lose the scout. Under the white cliffs, battlemented crown. A natural wonder, okay. Yeah, let's focus on finding the city-state. We got a few more turns. And there's the builder. So first, stone. And pick up the promotion. Volley. And what do we get next? We should start recruiting more units. Especially if we want to conquer Australia. We shouldn't wait too long with that. And we'll need a bigger army than just two archers. What's our next research going to be? Horseback riding. Then we can get a rider or two. If we can even get horses. I don't think we can get horses. I'm not seeing them anywhere. So hold on. Is there iron anywhere? No, not really. That's kind of bad. Well then. I'm not too happy about that. I suppose we should still research horseback riding, however. Well, let's get astrology real quick. That's three turns. Where do you think you're going? And he's dead. Alright, so next up... Oh yeah, we never actually researched irrigation. We can't get a boost for irrigation. Because that requires a farm on a resource. The closest one is right here, the rice. We could wait to get that settler. And then get irrigation boost. But that will delay the spices quite significantly. I'm not entirely convinced it's worth it just to save a few turns. We really won't be saving that much time. I don't think it's worth waiting. We would have to wait just way too long for that. Yep, we'll just research it ourselves. So that means we are saving both builds for spices. Next. Come on, give me that city-state. Like, seriously? We scouted so much terrain. And yet, we still can't find another city-state. At this rate, I'll have to research political philosophy the hard way. It's starting to look that way. Also, there's definitely a barbarian camp to the south. Once we get a few more units, we should go and explore. 
No, I don't want open borders. As in, I don't want that trade. One more turn. Okay then. Well, we found the city. I could switch to mysticism, but I don't want to delay political philosophy. We want to get a government as soon as possible, even if it means finishing the research the hard way. We can do three more turns to finish mysticism, but if we don't find a city-state by then, I'll just finish the research the hard way. Can we go through here? Probably not, it looks like the mountain will block the way. Two more turns to finish the settler. We are friendly with Alexander. We got machinery bust, okay. Oh, we can go through here actually, alright. But still no city-state. There's the next archer. Let's go and take care of the barbarians, shall we? There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere over there. And research. I'm thinking more archers, actually. We could grab a quick monument, though. We kind of need a little bit of extra culture. And also science, so a library in our capital soon. I like to say I practice There's the settler. Mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of something. And we also finished mysticism. Okay, we found Arabia. Good to know. Looks like we have to finish political philosophy the hard way. Alright, fine, that's what we'll do. We technically need two more city-states. So, yeah. It was just bad luck. Do we change anything here? I don't think so, no. Nope, this looks good. What's next in our capital, then? Finish the granary. And then a library. We definitely need that library. One more turn to finish irrigation. And let's go here. I'm not sure which exact tile we'll be settling just yet. But we definitely want to settle somewhere in this area. We want the pearls. Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. So how about right here, for example? That will be in range of the pearls. We'll also get rice. We'll get the cattle to the south, which is also in range of our capital, so this one isn't as important. But we'll have desert next to the city center. And we'll have cattle to the southwest. Yeah, I think that's going to be the one. And we'll have fish in range too. Next research. Just finish astrology, I guess. Now, that archer. We'll have to attack with both units at once. And he's dead. Okay, then. I'm not sure if we can go any further. That might be a bit of a problem. We might be able to go through here. But we need to hurry up. Heal up the archers and then we'll go check for a barbarian camp. We got a promotion, and that's going to be volley. And I'm going to make a cut here. I made the first episode a little bit longer than usual, just to jumpstart this game. And I think it's going pretty well so far. 
We are about to get our third city on this exact tile right here. And thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know what you think so far, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.